Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 14th question from CBC class 10, 2023-24, sample question paper set 2 for mathematics standard with subject code 041, section A which is multiple choice questions where each question is of one mark. Now this question is from the coordinate geometry chapter. The distance between two points A and B on a graph is given as square root of 10 square plus 7 square. The coordinates of A are minus 4, 3. Given that the point B lies in the first quadrant, then all the possible x coordinates of point B are. Now here, to understand the given question, let us draw a rough diagram of the graph first. So here, the given data has been represented on the graph. So you can see the x-axis is marked and the y-axis is marked. And the coordinates of point A, I have assumed it is over here because x is negative, so it is belonging to the negative x-axis. So negative 4, 3 is the A coordinate. And B lies in the first quadrant. So here, this represents the first quadrant. This side of the region represents second quadrant. This is the third quadrant. And the final one is the fourth quadrant. So we are going in an anti-clockwise manner. So here we need to look at the first quadrant only. So let me erase the rest of the quadrants marked. So the point B lies in the first quadrant. And remember that in the first quadrant, all the X values are positive and all the Y values are positive. So the X and Y coordinates of B are going to be positive. So this is the hint we got to know from this first quadrant information. And the next piece of information given is the distance between these two points, that is point A and point B whose coordinates I have taken as x, y. The distance between these two points, I have considered it as d, which is equal to square root of 10 square plus 7 square. Now we have to find out what are all the x coordinates possible for b. So let us start by writing the distance formula first. So the distance formula is given as d is equal to, that is distance between the points is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 the whole square plus a y1 minus y2 the whole square. Now here the distance is given as square root of 10 square plus 7 square and I'm going to consider the coordinates of b as x1, y1 and the coordinates of a as x2 and y2. So let me substitute here. So in place of d you can see I have written square root of 10 square plus 7 square as it was given in the question is equal to x1 is x minus x2 is minus 4, so substituting here the whole square plus y1 is y minus y2 is 3 the whole square. Now let us simplify this further. So the d remains the same, so minus of minus we get it as plus, so x minus becomes x plus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square. So this remains the same. Now there is a reason why they have represented the distance in this manner. They could have simply given it as square root of 149. But it has been split up as 10 square plus 7 square because this represents our x and 7 square represents the y coordinate. Or it could be the other way around as well. The 7 square can represent the x plus 4 the whole square and 10 square can represent the y minus 3 the whole square. So it could be both way around. So let us first consider that square root of 10 square is equal to square root of x plus 4 the whole square. Because in the question they have mentioned to find all the possible x coordinates only. So we are not going to focus on the y coordinates of b. We are going to completely focus on x coordinates only. So let me clear it out. So here in this step, I have completely ignored the y coordinates. I am considering the square root of 10 square to be equal to the x coordinate that is x plus 4 the whole square. Now here, since both the side we have a square root, we can proceed by squaring on both the sides to get rid of the square root. So let us just square it. So we get here 10 square is equal to x plus 4 the whole square. So this simplifies further. Next, let us shift the square on the other side of the equal to sign. That is, it goes towards the 10 square. So when we are shifting the square on the other side of equal to sign, it changes to plus or minus square root of 10 square. And this will be equal to x plus 4. 
Now let us isolate x on one side of the equal to sign and take the plus 4 on the other side. So we get it as x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus. Now square root of 10 square. 10 square is nothing but 100. So square root of 100 is 10. So here you can see we have got two values of x which will split up as minus 4 plus 10 which is equal to 6, so let me write here x equal to 6, or x is equal to minus 4 and minus 10. So we get the x value as negative 14. But as we know that the b is in the first quadrant where x and y values are all positive, we are going to discard the negative value and consider only x equal to 6. So we got x equal to 6 when we considered 10 square. Now it could be other way round as well. The 7th square can represent the x plus 4, the whole square. So we are going to repeat the entire process but by taking square root of 7th square is equal to square root of x plus 4, the whole square. So let me write here. So you can see square root of 7th square is now equated equal to x plus 4, the whole square. Now similarly we are going to square on both the side of the equal to sign to get rid of the square root. So we get now. 7 square is equal to x plus 4 the whole square. Now again we are going to send the square on the other side of the equal to sign. So it changes to plus or minus square root of 7 square is equal to x plus 4. Now again isolating the x we are going to take plus 4 on the other side of equal to sign. So x will be equal to plus 4 changes to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 7 square. 7 square is 49, so square root of 49 is going to be 7. So again we can see the x values will split up into two values, that is x is equal to minus 4 plus 7, which gives us equal to plus 3, and x is equal to minus 4 and minus 7, so x is equal to minus 11. Again we are going to discard the negative because we are looking in the first quadrant where x is positive. So x value we got here as positive 3. So now we have seen we got two values of x that is x equal to 3 and there is one more x equal to 6. And 3 and 6 are the multiples of 3. So here we are going to choose the option the x coordinates of point B are multiples of 3. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.